Hey everybody. Oh my God, there's something in my eyeball. What is in my eye? I don't know what it is. Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty Cat, and we're back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna kind of talk about something that just sparked this idea in my mind a couple days ago. So let me just lay it out for y'all. So a couple days ago, I was at work and I was talking with one of my coworkers and she was telling me that, you know, one of her sons is graduating from high school and he hasn't decided what he wants to do yet. But it sounds like, well, he also has a girlfriend, but it sounds like he hasn't made a decision yet because he wants to include her. So all of us at my job were like, say what because all of us remember back to high school of like oh my gosh i remember my high school boo thing and how it did not work out after high school so this video is all about advice basically dating advice if you need it if you want to take it i'm giving it okay this video is about should you date your boyfriend girlfriend partner significant other boo thing baby bae whatever should you date them after high school now like I know if you're in high school right now and this may have been like one of your you know first relationships and you don't want to let it go you know it's something that's sacred to you but there's a big world out there so let's let's get into it okay should you date your partner after high school and the answer is no okay it's not hell no it's not absolutely not it's just a no and here's why when you're in high school you know you're in a bubble Things are different, you know? When you're in high school, basically, you are given, you are expected to act like an adult, take on responsibility like an adult, but you're treated like a child. But then when you get out of high school, you're now an adult. You're in the real world. And you don't ask anyone to go to the bathroom anymore. And relationships really change after high school. What was once okay in high school is not really okay after high school. I'm gonna give y'all like literally three quick examples of how dating your partner after high school, how it, how it goes, okay? So first example, example from per me personally. When I was in high school, I when I was a sophomore, I was dating a guy who was a senior and we had planned after high school or after he left high school that we were going to stay together and we were going to try to make it work and whatever, whatever. And um, he was going to college out of state and about two weeks before he left, he and I had a heart to heart and he was like, kitty cat, you know, I think you're a great person. I, I love what we have, but I think I should do me. And I, I mean, I wasn't heartbroken, but I was bummed. I was like, damn, I really liked him. I thought things were going to work out. And we're gonna come back to that, okay? We're gonna come back to, that. it's gonna come full circle, okay? But we're gonna come back to that. So just remember that example. So then on the flip side, my best friend in high school and my boyfriend's best friend, they they dated, if that makes sense. So my my best friend dated my boy ex-boyfriend from high school's best friend. So we used to go on double dates all the time. We used to have fun, it was awesome. They decided that they were gonna stay together after high school, right? And he only went to the college that was, it was still in um, in Colorado, just wasn't in our city that we grew up in. They stayed together and the relationship completely changed, like a complete 180 because your life when you go to college is so different from your life in high school. In college, there's a lot more expectations. There's no rules. Like you live life the way you want to. Whereas when you're in high school, you still have restrictions. You still have things you need to do. You're still under your parents' your parents' rules. You know what I mean? Probably a, a couple months, about six months into the school year, they just ended up breaking up because they hardly ever got to see each other. They were both meeting people that they wanted to get to know, but they had their relationship from high school that was still tying them down and holding them back. Okay, so example number two, you know, I, they did not work out. Okay, they didn't work out. Example number three, this is another story with me, a mini story. When I was in high school, when I was a senior, I was dating a guy who was a junior. And I was already like, I already saw what happened with my best friend. I'm not going to date him when I go to college. Like, as soon as high school's over, it's done. Well, we had such a great summer, and things were just so great. And I was like, you know what? I think I really love this guy. My mom, she's making some noise. I was like, you know what? 
let you know what let's just try to make it work let's try to work it out somehow some way so when I went to college he was a senior in high school and boy oh boy was that a tough year in our relationship because he was expecting the same things from me that I gave him when we were in high school I could give him more of my time I could give him more of my energy you know all of those things but whereas you know I'm a college student all these miles away I can't I can't do all the same things I did in high school I have other expectations I have responsibilities you know what I mean like I can't text you back right away because I'm busy I'm doing stuff like I don't have time you know it just things change and when you go to high go to college you want to have fun if your friends say hey we want to go get ice cream let's go is your boyfriend going to be like who are you getting ice cream with what's going on like why are you going to all these parties blah, blah, blah. it just doesn't work because you're not in the same boat we ended up breaking up you know the year after that you know what i mean so it never really works unless that's the one or unless that's like the love of your life a lot of people don't meet high school they're love of their life in high school you know and if you do meet the love of your life in high school anybody who's been with their boo thing since high school they've been through some shit okay and that ain't a lie anybody can tell you that so let's bring it back to that first example right remember when i told you my senior boyfriend from when i was a sophomore we broke up and blah 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 so we broke up you know what i mean um but we broke up in a way that was like we're not breaking up because we don't like each other or because it's just not working, it's just our circumstances have changed, right? So to this day, we're still friends. You know, it's it's really refreshing that after all these years, high school's been over forever, that he and I, we I mean, we don't call each other or anything like that, but every year when it's my birthday, his birthday, we always send each other a text, hey, happy birthday, hope everything is okay, hope everything is well. Like we're still able to have some kind of relationship, some kind of friendship, because we decided to, honestly, I think, do the right thing. Well, he decided to do the right thing. And say we wanted to get back together now. We might be able to because we don't have all the baggage and we don't have all the drama that, you know, my, the other relationships did. You know what I mean? And honestly, it doesn't matter if they're going to college or they're going to the military or you're going to college or you're going to the military or even if you're deciding that you're just going to work after high school. The whole point is you need to figure yourself out. It's okay to spend time alone. It's okay to meet new people and to gain new perspectives. And it's not to say that the people you go to high school with, you know, are small minded or whatever, but there's a big world outside of high school. And if you tie yourself down to somebody who you were with when you were in high school, might not always work out you know you see a lot of people settle for relationships on a level that they should have passed on okay write that down a lot of people settle for relationships that they should have passed on okay now um there's nothing wrong with dating your your boo thing from high school there's nothing wrong with that if you're in love and you want to stay with them by all means do it but if you're on the fence and you're dating someone right now and y'all are getting ready to go to college or, you know, one of you is getting ready to move and you need a little bit of advice or you just want to hear some insight, just, just snip it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no harm in being friends. There's no harm in being cool with somebody. You know what I learned when I was in college? I remember my college advisor, she told me most relationships that people like I'm telling you right now people that stay with their their boo thing since high school they don't they don't make it past winter break winter break is when they break up be available be open and focus on yourself focus on your friendships developing your friendships after high school is way way more important than focusing on your boo thing okay hi I'm Brooke I'm Catherine's sister and I just got off um, of like a 10 12 hour shift what are you what's the question again should you date your significant other after high school like if you're going to college you're going to the military I say it depends on the circumstances a it depends on how serious you guys are um, and where you see your relationships like going in the future um, if you really think that it's gonna last I definitely think go for it don't just say no because you're going to college or you're starting your life together um, 
which is actually a beautiful thing to do as a couple to start your, like a new journey together. But at the same time, if you know like you're going to a different college than him or he's doing the military and you're doing a college and you're on the other side of the earth, like it's honestly going to be very hard and most likely it doesn't work out. But, you know, who's to say that happens for everybody? I think it just really depends on the circumstances. Um, it just, I mean, whatever you're willing to do, there's guys out there and girls that are willing to travel around the world and drop everything they have just so they can be with their significant other. So it really just depends on who you have in your life and what their goals are and what they're willing to do for you. It really just depends on literally everything. You have to have that talk. There do you think you should date your significant other after high school has ended? Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!